was my idea to make a 50 meter galactic star because it's a typical Heeson and we try to mimic something of that quality into a smaller boat. The, the 500 GT mark is a, is a mark which is very important for a lot of shipyards at the moment and Heeson has um, been very successful. Basically the brief is, uh, has a technical background and for the aesthetical part we have to search, we have to research, we have to find out ourselves. You could see it as an integrated hull and body, uh, meaning that uh, the first layer of the superstructure has been merged, has been melted into the hull by means of this arch which goes aft. And because of the program of the boat, the superstructure on top, the remaining superstructure of the wheelhouse deck is somewhere in the middle. And with the second arch, we could pull the optical center of gravity also a little bit more aft. She's getting that aft leaning sportiness. We wanted to give a little bit more chiseled lines, as if the, every shape is, has been finished with the cut of a knife on the edges. So do you get a sharper, more crisp language. I like the quite straight bow. Of course it's a raked bow, but it's quite a straight line. She goes down, so the bow bends down, which adds to the aggressive look of the boat. Um, the other th thing I like, the, uh, the wheelhouse front windows are just three planes. So there's not so much distortion in plain glass. In the old days you would like to curve the corner windows with all kinds of breaking risks and all kinds of distortions. This one is elegant, but the, the setup of the arrangement of the windows is quite simple. And in all respects, she looks good from all angles, I expect. She is, um, I would think, for a wide audience and she meets the expectation to be crisp, modern, elegant, really matching the fact that she's a fast boat. The, the really Heeson heritage is in there. Uh, so no, I'm happy in all respects, yeah. <laughs>